Hello and welcome to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel and turn notifications on so that you can get the notification about my new tutorials. So we are going to look at how to install Microsoft SQL reporting services. So earlier previous versions, the reporting service used to be part of the installation but uh, it's not the case anymore so to do that what you need to do is you need to basically download the reporting services separately for that you can simply search online or in the installation um, basically you have a download reporting services and in that download reporting services you basically will be able to find uh, the direct link to reporting services so basically at the end as I said what you need to do is you need to download the reporting services which I have already downloaded for the link part I will try to put it in the description uh, just for your reference the link to download the reporting services as this and it will help you to download the reporting services this reporting services is 2019 but otherwise you can download according to what version you are currently running based on that you can download the reporting services so once you have exe file downloaded this is somewhere around 107 108 mb like similar to that so once you have that downloaded you will just right click on and run as administrator or double click on this to install the reporting services so there are two parts basically when it comes to installation of um, Microsoft SQL reporting services one is to install and other one is to configure basically so basic so first part is as I said installation once you will run the installation this kind of a window will appear where you will select install reporting services of course then you can choose your evaluation or whatever uh, version you are running or in case you have the license key you will be using your product key over here definitely I'll be using my product key which I'll be hiding out but in your case of course you will have your own product key over here so once you have entered your key you will just click on next over here and then you will accept the license agreement and click on next now it will ask you to install reporting services only or if you have anything else you will be doing that but in my case I'll be just installing a reporting service so for that I'll click on next over here I'll choose the installation path in my case I'll choose D it's up to you where you would like to install this and click on install over here and it will start installing reporting service on my machine now so once this installation is complete next part is to configure the reporting services and to configure the reporting services uh, we will follow the wizard to do that so let us complete this installation first and then after that we are going to connect to the configuration services and do the configuration of reporting services of course you need to fulfill this system requirements in uh, any environment if you are trying to install reporting services um, that's not that much but you need to have a look as per your um, environment you should take care of those account uh, requirements system requirements and hardware requirements also software and hardware requirements all of them you have to fulfill over there so so once you have your SQL installed you have configured manually in customized settings so what I'm going to do is I'm going to configure report server now and it will open this kind of a window for me it you can put if let's say you have more than one SQL server and it is not on the same server you might need to um, look for your DB but in my case my server is on the same server so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on connect over here so as soon as I connect over here I have to basically go to service account and in service account I can use built-in account or I can basically use my domain account 
so I'm going to use my domain account over here you can have your own user account maybe you have DB admin as a separate account you might be using your domain administrator based on whatever account you're using you will be entering over here so in my case I have domain like just tech and account I believe I have created DB admin which I'm going to use over here let's try to apply this and you see now it has a Windows uh, credentials issue let me do with this hopefully this should work yeah because I believe I didn't create a DB admin account but anyways whatever account you are using you will be using that to connect over here once you have this service account done you will go directly to database and you will basically click on change database over here because you do not have um, existing reporting database so you would be creating a new database over here so create a new report server database and click on next over here now over here basically you will be asked to provide the details to connect to your DB you can use SQL server account or you can use currently authenticated user which is a windows based account so i'm going to use that test connection successful once that is done i'm going to click on next over here and on this window also there will be a database uh, name it will be showing so if you want to change it up to you otherwise just click on next over here and next page you will click again next and here it shows you the summary of it and you will just review all this summary and then click on next over here and it is going to start configuration of your reporting server So you see now everything is showing success over here after that you'll click on finish now the next part is to create your URLs for that what you are going to do is you are going to click on web service URL and once you have this available over here you're going to apply if you want to change the TCP port use SSL certificate you can do that but in my case it's a lab environment I am going to keep it as default and apply over here now you have to create next as web portal URL so the first one which you have created is web service URL and next one you are going to create web portal URL over here to do that you are going to go to web portal URL and just click on apply over here again as I said if you want to change the port you have to do it in previous step and over here you are going to create web service URL now next is can click on this to verify this it takes little time sometimes to open the screen for the very first time so don't be panic if it is taking few seconds similarly um, second thing what you need to verify is your web portal URL also so you can come over here and click on this tab also so they both will open as I said it it would take little time and both would be open and this is how your um, reporting server gets installed if you see over here as I was telling you it will show you your DB server name and report server so this is perfectly right and this page will open some configuration page where you can log in and do certain steps over there also if you want you can review your reporting server configuration and so on normally I prefer to use Chrome but because it was a default browser set to internet explorer so it opened this one so let's use 
Chrome to do that. And this is how your SQL Server reporting service look like. Over here you have new, you have a lot of things, but we are not going to do anything over here because we are not interested to do anything here. Up to you how you would like to use it. So that's all from my side. Thank you so much for watching this walkthrough. Please use the comment section below to let me know if this solves your problem or this is what you are looking for. And to discuss more about any of the technologies which I'm talking about. Thank you and stay blessed.